are done for. Yeah, they're not going to make it back to the hive. <laughs> no, know. they sure aren't. They're too far from home. I told Emily one day, I said, I was gone for the week and I came home. There was like 10 dead bees by my back door. And I was like, oh, Emily must have been here. <laughs> <laughs> they were probably a Leonard's bees. Uh, Leonard's Lost Tinas. Oh, I know yep. that now. But I figured, oh, maybe you drove over in your Jeep and they flew out. And then they just <laughs> hung out by my back door for some reason. And then they just died. I'm like, hey, Tina, Emily, <clears throat> want you to know she stopped by. <laughs> Not pretty. Well, actually, my first thought was, why did Josh put a bunch of dead bees by my back door? And then I thought, wait, that doesn't sound like Josh. He's afraid of spiders. Is he afraid of bees, too? Oh, I'm sure he is. He's afraid of everything. <laughs> this is how it works when there's a spider in the house when the kids were little. Nicole, come kill this, his little sister. He'd have his little sister come take care of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Even now, even today, if they're both in the house, it's, uh, Nicole, come kill this thing. There's there's a spider. Can you kill it? Is he afraid of snakes? Yeah, yes, he is. Because when the kids were little, Nicole was like three and he was six. And over at a friend of mine who owned a boa. And Nicole, at three, would hold out both her hands, and then Reggie would lay it over her hand oh, so she goodness. could hold it, while Josh cowered in the corner Aww. and said, that poor little feller. you tried to kill Nicole by letting that snake eat her. I'm like, no, it wasn't going to eat her, and she was just holding it. It mm -hmm. was fine. So, yes, he's afraid of snakes. Hmm. It'd be easier to say what he's not afraid of. <laughs> Let's be honest. You're, you're making this video just for him, aren't I you? I am. <laughs> I had a sister that was afraid of spiders. And yeah. Fly. And she just <clears throat> literally panicked when... Yeah, that's how my mom is. Even if it's a fake spider, we used to torment her. We'd go up to the gas station and buy those rubber spiders for like a nickel. Yeah. <laughs> and then we would chase her with them. And then she would lock us out of the house. And then we would put them up by the windows around the house. <laughs> we were not very good children. We were jerks. We were jerks. A big bunch of jerks. Four little, four little jerks. <laughs> it is really weird to feel these bees flying on me. I will say that. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'm like, oh, it's crawling on me. I can feel it. So okay, oh. and we got two. Four. Sorry, did one get on your back? No, one? I think maybe one stung me in the back. I don't know. It's <laughs> highly unusual for these bees that are to sting you. Yeah. Really I had sting. one all of a sudden on the way back. I felt something on my ankle, and then I felt something like a one of those biting flies, you know. And yeah. I think I she got, got yeah. stung yeah, by a bee because I had moved, but it didn't feel. That I bad. remember as a kid feeling like I was going to die when I got stung. Well, well you might have been stung by a wasp or something, or a different kind of bee. And I was a kid, so you know. Right. Yeah. You think you're always going to die. Hmm. Now I'm just like, oh, that's kind of really annoying. Sure. I always thought I was going to die when I was a kid. Well, when a bee, st when something stings you, you think that. Yeah. Yes. When I cut my finger with my pocket knife that I wasn't supposed to have, that's when I thought I was going to die. <laughs> you thought you were going to die because you were going to be in trouble. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's true. I was trying to carve my name in a tree. Nice. And it was a little pocket knife without a guard on it. So it snapped mm. shut on my finger. Oh, wow. And I could see the membrane on top of my bone. I still have the scar. There, there it is. Nice. Oh. I didn't tell my mom. I wrapped it up in my t-shirt. And I said, oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I ran up to the house, yeah. washed my hand, and then laid down on my bed with my hand wrapped in my t-shirt still. Uh. <laughs> I didn't want to tell anybody. I was like yeah. eight or nine. Grandpa Ralph, I, birthday present. Mom wasn't supposed to know about it. And I was about... Went out the next day and chopped my finger off. <laughs> <laughs> about six or seven years old, my... The neighbor kid that was about 14 put me on a little cat, and then he twisted his tail, and of course... <laughs> oh! Took off, and I wound up landing on my head and shoulders, and Ooh. broke my collarbone. Ouch! Oh my gosh. And instead of going home... Uh, I knew I was doing something wrong, so... I can't go home now. No, I can't. I just need to go crawl in the ditch and die so my mom doesn't get yeah. to me first. And so... Uh, I get out. 14-year-old get in trouble? 
Or did you write uh, it out? Yeah, because, <laughs> yeah. And I remember he brought me a pocket knife, just to be a, trying to be a friend. I'm sorry, here's a knife. Yeah, here's a knife. <laughs> I'm sorry, here's a knife so you can you cut, cut your arm off. <laughs> Next time it won't be my fault, and you'll be killing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got how many left here? We got seven. Four, two, seven. We need one more. Oops. Little puppies fried together? Yep.